Hi, I'm Hafiz Hassan from Bangladesh. Uh, welcome to my first reflection task. Uh, I was working the department. Agriculture extension uh, under the Ministry of under the Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, we basically uh, this is my department. We basically disseminate the technology among the farmers. And there are different types of institutions under the Ministry of Agriculture. Some research, uh, some training, uh, some deals with the seed, some works with information. And we I was working in that department, Department of Agriculture Extension. That's we disseminate the improved technology, we collect information from the research institute, from the, we get the training from the training institute and then disseminate the technology and we also collect the feedback, the errors, the shortfalls of the improved technology and give it to the research institution, they again fine tune the technology and give back to us to disseminate the technology. This is our headquarter. If you go through the mission statement, that is the uh, um, mission of my department is uh, efficient an effective need-based extension service to be provided to farmers for sustainable agriculture and socio-economic development. Uh, mm, yes, uh, actually, there are different types of farmers. Some are raised, some are marginal, and even some are landless. They don't have any land. We collect information what they need and then disseminate the technology depending on their available resource uh, and their needs uh, so that they can use, they can get uh, maximum benefit from the available resources. Okay, if you go through the bar graph, that is the increasing size of the population. From after liberation 1971, the population size just doubled and now at the same time the production also increased. In the picture, in the map, you're seeing that the population size is increasing and at the same time in the background you're seeing the rice field that is uh, we are also uh, our production has also been increased uh, proportionately and that is why uh, we are now a little bit sufficient in food mm. uh, food sufficiency we make plan and to make the plan we collect information from the weather department we collect information from production we collect information from uh, regarding consumption the market price and the middleman's impact of the middleman and this information this evidence we collect from different departments like Bureau of Statistics of Bangladesh uh, different uh, non-government organizations and even my department also collects information and then, and then we make plan and uh, for the next year and we implement this and we also collect uh, feedback of the errors uh, for and my department there are different types of projects running as for example if you look to the Number one, that is integrated agricultural productivity project. It's uh, work all over the country. But if you look to the number project number two, there is construction of rubber dam in a small and medium river in, for increasing food production. Actually, rubber dam is not suitable for all the areas. There are some specific areas, and uh, we get the evidence that which area is suitable for. As for example, if you go to the map, uh, the blue area it's uh, it's mainly saline affected area. The blackish is the hilly area. And the green part is the highly productive and if you go to the northern part that is the uh, slight, slightly reddish uh, this is uh, one kind of desert and we got information we got evidence that uh, which technology uh, best fit with uh, where because all types of technology are not best fitted with uh, not working good in, diff in all over the country and that is why we get information we get evidence that uh, which type of technology best suited to which part of the country and then and there are many other uh, projects that's work uh, that's it thanks a lot for your patience hearing thank you